And don't forget. channel it's Aria Artistry here and today we're going to be doing this pretty pastel eye right here so I got a new backdrop um, I just added like little vines that I had in my house um, definitely check out my I think it's my living room video and I put these up on my living room and I just had some extras and I felt like the background was a little plain so I just wanted to add that and I think it looks so cute so inviting but yeah I wanted to you know get our minds off of what's going on in the world and just do a pretty spring makeup. I think this is so pretty. I love the colors. I think they're just, they're so fun. Makes me so happy. Before I get in the video, please subscribe to my channel. Be a part of my mermaid squad. I would love to have you. And don't forget to put your notification bell on so you know whenever I post a new video. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into this pastel makeup look. I think it's so freaking cute. It's just gonna bring you some cheer and brightness and happiness and spring is here and all of that fun stuff. So if you wanna see how to get this pretty pastel look right here, just keep watching. All right guys, let's get started. So I already did my eyebrows and primed my eyes off camera. Um, I mean, you guys have seen it before so I didn't wanna to be too repetitive. And for primer, I used the Urban Decay primer I always use and the Anastasia primer that I always use as well. So let's get into this pastel makeup look because spring is here and I know all everything that's going on in the world but just focus on the makeup, focus on me. <laughs> so I have a couple of palettes here because I don't have like an all pastel palette. So I think I have about like five here. So I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them. I think I'm gonna start off with like a nice pretty purple in the crease. Hmm, maybe. I didn't really think this through yet. So I hope you guys like the new background. I hope it's not too busy. I think it's really cute because um, I felt like it was really plain before. And you guys know I love plants. So I had extra vines that I didn't use that I bought from Amazon. So. I think it's cute. So for the first shade, I'm gonna go into the It's My Pleasure palette by ColourPop and I'm gonna use Fan Fiction. So it's a little bit of a darker, like lilac color. So I'm just gonna pop that right in the crease with a C511 crown brush. And I'm just going to make sure there's no creasing because the Anastasia primer loves to do that. That's why I actually use two of them because I can't just use the Anastasia primer by itself. So we're just gonna tap that right in the crease. Ooh. It's like a purple pink. It's pretty. And as I always say in my videos, I like to just take the bed of the brush and just tap it right into the crease because this helps it get more pigment. So the color is more vibrant rather than you just going back and forth. See the difference? Like there's nothing no, there's nothing there really. It's not as pigmented as tapping it on. And we're gonna take this all the way into the inner corner of my eye. And once all of the color is on there, I just like to take the back of the brush and just blend it, make sure there's no harsh lines. And then I kind of just go back and forth, add the color, blend it out. And I'm taking this pretty high up to the brow bone because we're gonna cut the crease and you wanna make sure we don't lose this color. All right, so now that it's nice and pigmented, we're gonna jump into the Anastasia primer. And I'm just gonna take a flat brush like this, dip it into the primer, put it right onto my lid, look up, and then just carve it from there. And I go in sections, so it's a little bit easier. And we're not gonna go all the way to the outer V, we're gonna stop here. And don't worry if there's like a line because we're gonna go in with that fan fiction purple shade and just like fix it, you know? Maybe a little bit deeper too, we'll see. All right, so I think I'm gonna work from the inner corner out. So I'm gonna start with a lighter shade. So I'm gonna go in with the Uh -huh Honey palette by ColourPop and I'm gonna use the shade Stinger. And I'm gonna start off with this pointer brush. It is the C513 by Crown and then I'm gonna use a flat brush just to really pack the color in there. So we're just gonna start right in the inner corner. So now I'm gonna go into the Naked Reloaded palette and we're gonna use Retro. It's this really pretty peach shade. And I'm just gonna put that right in the center of my eye with the same brush. I just cleaned it off. And you see this line right here? 
that is not cute. So we're gonna go back in with Stinger and just kind of overlap so you don't see that line, you know? So it looks like it's going into the retro shade. Kind of gives you like a pretty ombre effect. And then I'm gonna dip into retro, just do the same, making sure they're blended. We're gonna come back in the end too to like really make it blend. Uh, since they are matte, it's a little bit harder. So just take your time when you're blending it. But now let's move on to another color. So I'm gonna go in with a pretty blue. So I'm gonna go into Blue Moon by ColourPop and we're gonna use Moonlight. It's like a pretty periwinkle shade and we're gonna put it at the end here. And for this, I'm just using a flat eyeshadow brush and just blend it into the retro. So now that the color is really on there, I'm gonna go into retro and just do the same thing I did with the Stinger. You don't wanna tell which one starts and which one stops. Just be patient with this part because you want it to look nice and seamless. And try to use the tip of the brush because that'll help blend it out a little bit more. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. I still have to blend a little bit more, but I want to add more of the pigment back because I feel like it got lost a little bit. So I'm just gonna take this B6 spray. You can use any spray, you can even use water and spray that pointer brush. And I'm gonna dip back into the blue and just make it a little bit more pigmented. This reminds me of like Sherbert. Like you remember when you were a kid and you had like the different color Sherberts? This is exactly what this reminds me of. I mean, that's a good way to bring in spring, right? All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. You guys know I'm a perfectionist, so I can be here for hours, but we don't have all day. So I'm gonna go back in to the It's My Pleasure purple palette. So I think I'm gonna take the darker purple and just like make a V here just to give it some shape. And for that, I'm gonna use a C528, this little small detailing brush. And we're gonna dip right into Sleeper and just carve it out a little bit. And also be really light-handed with this too, because you don't want to go too heavy, then you have to blend it out, and then you have to worry about messing up the ombre. So I just make a line right here, and then I go up into the crease. I'm gonna be honest, working with all matte colors, this is a little difficult. So if you want to switch over to um, shimmer shades, it'll be a lot easier to blend. I think it looks pretty good. I do, like, some of the lines I don't really like too much, but if I keep, blending it, I lose the color. So I'm just gonna stick with it for now. So now we're gonna add some lashes. So we're gonna go in with the Luxe Silk Effect Marquise Lashes by Ilore. And these give some nice drama. So I'm gonna pop these bad boys on and be right back. Okay, now that lashes are on, I think this look is pretty cute. Um, I'm just not used to all of these different colors on my eye. So. We're gonna move on to our face. I'm gonna be using my All Nighter Face Primer by Urban. And I just put that all over. I had to cover my pimple right here because she is not cute at all. So I didn't want to scare you guys. So I just covered her up. And you guys already know I'm gonna use my Urban Decay um, Stay Naked Foundation. And I'm in the shade 61NN. And I'm actually not gonna mix it this time because I found a way to you know, mix it with bronzer. So I'm just gonna use that by itself. And I actually switched to use um, a beauty blender. I'm actually using this e.l.f. brush. Oh my God, this is so old. I'm gonna link it down below. It's like a foundation brush. It just makes your foundation look so airbrushed. It's so nice. But before that, I'm gonna go in with my red corrector and just dot this around my mouth and under my eyes. And this just helps with discoloration. So your foundation looks like one color and make sure you blend it out really well because you don't want it to peek through the foundation. So now for foundation, see how nice and airbrushed this looks? It's cause it's like a kabuki brush. So it just, I don't know, it makes you look like you don't have foundation on, which I love. Ooh, it's so pretty. And then I just go over my acne scars again to make sure you really can't see them. Now that I look like a ghost, <laughs> I'm gonna be going in with my cream contour. You guys already know, it's my favorite part. Besides highlight, highlight is my other favorite part. This is called the Sculptor by Tarte. If I can't find this, cause I know that this was on sale last time I found it, I'll find something similar to this. And I just put it on my cheekbones, on my jaw, down my nose and my forehead. And this just gives you some extra definition, chisels those cheeks, you know. And then I take my Real Techniques brush, this guy right here, and just blend it out. See how it just gives you some warmth? And I really like to blend this so you can't really tell because I go in with bronzer as well. 
You guys already know this. <laughs> and once that's nice and blended, for my nose, I'm gonna go in with this pointy like kabuki brush. And these are the Amazon brushes I talk about all the time. Comes with like, I think six of them, but they're just really good and they're really inexpensive. All right, so now for concealer, I'm gonna use the same, the Stay Naked concealer, and this is in the shade 60NN. And you know, under my eyes, down my nose, forehead, all that good stuff. And now I'm just gonna take a fluffy little kabuki brush that comes in that set and just blend it out. And I'm just tapping so the color stays there, kind of with the eyeshadow. And then make sure that there's no eyeshadow coming down here. Just kind of blend it. Dude, I still look like a ghost. <laughs> it's okay, I'm gonna go in with bronzer. So for powder, I'm gonna use the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I'm just gonna set right under my eyes with the Real Techniques. This is just a newer one. But let's make sure there's no creasing first and then set it. And I just set wherever I put the concealer. All right, so let's fix this um, paleness right now. So I'm gonna be taking this angled little kabuki brush that comes in that set. And I'm gonna be using my Becca Ipanema Sun and just swirl it around in there. I have a newer one, but I'm just trying to use this one up first. Just go right over the cream contour. And I'm actually not gonna use blush today because we wanna focus more on the eyes. So I'm just gonna use the bronzer as a blush. So now we're going to blend all like the harsh lines we have. So I'm gonna take the Real Techniques brush right here again. Go right under my contour, make it sharp, blend by my jaw. All right, she's coming together. She's looking pretty cute. All right, now for highlight. Look how cute this little mini highlighter is, it's so cute. I'm gonna be using Opal by Becca. And be careful because she is blinding. Like, she is so pigmented. So don't go too crazy if you have this highlighter. Like, watch, I'm just gonna do a little bit. Like that was literally me like lightly tapping it in there. And this brush is a Morphe M510. Guess what I forgot? To contour my nose. What else is new? I mean, I did cream contour it, but I always forget to go back and contour it with the Becca bronzer. So I'm just gonna do that real quick before I add the highlight. Cubic bow, a little on the chin, and then a little bit above the brow. And then just blend it, because you see that line? That's not cute. So we're just gonna blend in the circular motions like we did before. So now back to under our eyes. It's not gonna be too complicated because I don't, like I want you to focus more on the color. I don't want it to be too much. So we're gonna dip into that fan factor. Oops, fan fiction, just kidding. We're gonna dip into the Fan Fiction shade again with that pointer brush, the C513, and just go right underneath our eyes. We're just gonna tap this right underneath our lash line. I make the most unattractive face when I do this. There's no way to make a cute face because you need to get up in there. And then just for the outer part, I'm gonna add that sleeper shade just to Add the definition over here. All right, and for the inner corner, I wanna do yellow, but I'm gonna do yellow with some shimmer since this is all matte eye. So we're gonna go into the Aha uh -huh Honey palette again, and we're gonna take Sunburst. So it's like a yellow, but it has a little bit of green flecks in it. It's really pretty. So we're just gonna pop that right in the inner corner and then push it down the bottom. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Especially the, the green reflex it has, it's really pretty. And then we're gonna take the small little detailing brush and we're gonna go back into that fan fiction. Just make sure that the two are blended. There we go. Wow, she's pretty. And then I'm just gonna take some black eyeliner and just go on the bottom. So now we're gonna move on to the bottom lashes. So I'm gonna take my Subversion Lash Primer by Urban. Ooh, girl, she is crusty. This is disgusting. But we're gonna use it now, so don't mind the crunchiness of the wand. So I just let that dry, get a little tacky, so the mascara can really stick onto it. So we're gonna move on to lippies, which is also my favorite part. So I've been loving this Mel Cosmetic lipstick. I talk about this more when I bought the Rustic palette, so check that video out if you haven't already. But I'm going to use my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF3. <laughs> I keep hearing freaking noises in my head. I'm like, you know what? It's just a bird. It's just a squirrel. It's just this, it's just that because these walls are really thin and a lot of animals crawl, but 
I don't know if you can hear it, but it's it's kind of scaring the shit out of me right now. We're gonna take this and line our lips. Now I'm gonna go on with the lipstick. So this lipstick is like really, really, really nude, as you can see. But once you add like the liner and just kind of ombre it, it looks really nice. It's like a good nude. So when I say ombre it out, I just do like the corners. I do down here again. And then I do the same with the top, like the corners. And then since this is an all matte eye, I'm gonna add some gloss. And I've been loving these ColourPop So Juicy glosses. Ugh, this color is in Partly Rowdy. And then I also have Princess Cut, which is like a clear. I love them. They're just like so, they're so pretty. And use a little bit because it is like, it goes on pretty heavy. Yes, okay. So all we have to do is just bottom mascara. I'm gonna do my hair and then we're done. She's cute. I was really skeptical at first, but now that I see it, I think it's really pretty. Especially since we just have like the purple underneath, not all the colors. I think that would have been a little too much. All right, so now we're gonna take our Perversion Mascara and just pop it right on the bottom. Since the primer was a little chunky, it is making my lashes stick together. So I'm just going to take a spoolie and just kind of brush it out a little bit. And that's a little trick. I showed you guys this before. Cute! Oh, that is not cute. Come on, man. Why am I shirt trying to sabotage me? And last but not least, our setting spray. So I'm just gonna spray this all over my face, even though I'm not going anywhere. But still, my makeup will be on all day. <laughs> all right, so let me fix this crazy hair. And I'll be right back. So here is the completed look. And I'm actually pretty shocked because at first when I was doing it, I was a little skeptical because of the different colors. I'm not used to like all these colors on my eyes. I'm used to like one shade of all colors, if that makes sense. Like if I do a purple eye, I'll do different shades of purple. So I like that I stepped outside the box. Um, last year, I remember I did something similar to this. So if you want to add a little bit of spring to your makeup, I think this is perfect because you know, it just draws attention to your eye, especially if you wear like a white pretty dress or something. And I think if you're feeling down around this time, I know that it's really crazy what's going on in the world. Just play with your makeup, like put some makeup on, put some colors on that you're not used to. You know, you're not going anywhere, so no one's really going to see it unless you take pictures. Hopefully this brightened up your day a little bit so you don't have to focus on any of that stuff. Just focus on this fun, pretty makeup that you can wear when we can go back outside into the real world. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are staying safe, healthy, and well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be a part of my mermaid squad. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.